guys, it's Miranda from My Sister's Bookshelf, and today I'm coming to you with my spring reading wrap-up. So I didn't really do much wrap-ups from March um, till May, so I thought I would do it all in one big wrap-up for spring. And I did read, I read about nine things in spring, um, not as much as I wanted to read, but I did get some reading done, and I... I all the things that I read, I really, most for the most part, enjoyed. So I thought I would do a video about that. So the first thing I read in spring, so that would have been in March, was Me Before You. And don't mind my ginormous iPad. This is my mom's actually, but I just thought it would be a good way to show you what I read. But I read Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. And I did do a, a short review on, I think I did a wrap-up early in March for just the first week of March um, and I'll link that down below um, but what this book is about a woman who she's in her mid-twenties and she lives at home with her family still and it's in England she loses her job she has a job at a cafe for like years and then she loses her job and so she has to go through a temp agency she's trying to find a job she works a bunch of different jobs and then there comes across one to be a caregiver for someone well it turns out that it's for a um, a young man who's like in his early 30s and so she's like it starts off with her taking care of this man and he doesn't really want much help and it's just it's such a good book I know it's coming out this weekend the movie is coming out this weekend and I'm definitely gonna go see it with my friends I'm so excited for it this book I gave five out of five stars I don't want to give away too much because it's such a great read and I didn't know too much about it when I read it so I definitely suggest you guys going out and picking it up and reading it and then going to see the movie I'm sure the movie is going to be great they put the previews for it have looked incredible the next thing I read in spring was Glass Sword by Victoria Aviard. You cannot see it. And I'm sorry for the lighting, it's totally whacked in here. This is the second book in the series, in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aviard. And I really enjoyed this second book. I gave it five out of five stars, just like I gave the first book five out of five stars. Um, so if you're interested in reading it, it is about a girl who, I think she's in her late teens I want to say either 16 or 17 and she um, is a red and there's reds and silvers and silvers have a higher rank because they have special abilities that reds do not have I don't want to give away too many spoils because I didn't really know too much about this book besides that and besides everybody going crazy over it um, it's definitely worth a read it's def it's a you know YA um, sci-fi kind of dystopian kind of thing it's really good I definitely suggest picking it up and reading it I thoroughly enjoyed the second book just as much as the first book the next thing I read in spring was modern romance by Aziz Azari Asari and this is a nonfiction book and what I thought it was, like, because it's by him, I thought it was going to be, like, a, com a comedy kind of thing about his life, like an autobiography, like a funny autobiography, but it is definitely not. It is a study in modern romance about how, in this century, how um, people have relationships, how they have, um, how they date in this society, in the society today, not just in America, but they go into different countries as well. This was another one that I talked more about in a wrap-up I did in March. So I'll link, once again, that link will be down below if you want to know more about it. Um, but I've thoroughly enjoyed this read. Um, it was very different than what I expected. I gave it four out of five stars, but that's simply because there was a couple things in the book that I wasn't 100% interested in. They talked about um, marriages and about people stepping out on their marriages. And I didn't really like that part of my, that much. It wasn't it wasn't the author's fault at all. It was really, it's just that's what how people are <laughs> nowadays. You know, it's just and but it, so that part kind of I just didn't I didn't really enjoy as much. But that's the only reason why I gave it four out of five stars. Listen to the audiobook of this, and I hands down suggest you to read the audiobook because you know Aziz is the one reading it. And it is just, it's hilarious. There is some adult language, just a heads up on that. The next thing that I read in um, spring was The Cruel Crown, or Cruel Crown, by Victoria Aviard. And this is the novellas. It was actually two novellas. Um, 
in the Red Queen series. It's supposed to go in between Red Queen and Glass Sword, but I read Glass Sword before it. Um, but it didn't, it didn't have any spoilers or anything. It goes into two different sides of um, the story. Um, and so two different side characters from the Red Queen series that they go into. I didn't enjoy this one as much as I enjoyed the two um, novels. And I think that it just, I don't know, maybe those characters to me weren't as interesting. Um, but I gave it as a whole 3.5 3 out of 5 stars. And, I mean, I, def I think it's worth it if you're interested in the series, if you like the series. Um, and it's a good filler. But I liked the, the Red Queen and Glass Sword much better than I liked that novella. The next thing I read in spring was The Rosie Project by, by Gourmet Simeon. Simsian? Simsi? Sim? Simsian. I'm sorry. It's really bad. <laughs> um, he's Australian. I should be able to read this. But this was a very good book. This is about a man who has Asperger's who is trying to find a wife. And so he creates a, um, a survey or an equation to come up to find the, his best potential marriage mate. And so he is like going around and surveying these women and going on dates. And then he comes across a woman who does not meet any of the criteria on his list, but she's looking for her father. So he decides to create a formula to find the father and to help her out. And so it's about them. They're, um, about them trying to find her father and then him trying to find a wife. And it is just, it was such a fun um, read, lighthearted, but at the same time it touches some deep issues, um, especially about how we view mental illness, about how um, people with Asperger's function um, in day-to-day -day life. I mean, it was very, very, very good read. I gave it five out of five stars. Actually, I think I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I, I It probably could have been a 5 star read for me. I think the only reason why I wasn't 100% to give it a 5 star rating because Rosie had a little bit of a potty mouth. And I'm fine with that. I know that there's language in books. But I think it was just kind of unnecessary. Um, but other than that, I really enjoyed this read. I thought it was hilarious. It's warm-hearted. I mean, it's a really good book. I would definitely pick it up. There is, I think this is a duology. So there's another book, um, and I haven't read that yet, but I'm going to definitely be picking that up soon. The next thing I read in spring was Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. And this, I was just really expecting, I don't know, I th I saw the movie, you know, as kids we saw the movie, um, the Disney version of Alice in Wonderland, the cartoon, and... I, I liked it as a kid, but I always thought it was super weird, and I'd always, I always wanted to know how the book was. Like, I always felt like the movie must be missing something that the book had and that we can watch in the, in the, or read in the book, and it, it will fill in some blanks, and that's not, that's not true. The book is almost exactly like the movie. There's no explanation. It's just, that's how it is, and I just... I don't know if I like it. It was super weird. However, if you do like the story of Alice in Wonderland, um, you might be interested in picking up the audiobook. Scarlett Johansson does a narration of an audiobook on Audible, and I did listen to it. And it was, she did bring a liveliness to it that I really enjoyed. Um, so I would definitely pick that up, and I definitely think it's worth it. But for me, Alice in Wonderland, um, as like in all for the book I gave it a three and a half out of five stars I just wasn't I guess it's just not my thing I want to I like the movies and that well enough but to read it it's just so weird I don't know why it like I want to I want an explanation Lewis Carroll that's what I want I want to know why this is happening the next thing I read in spring and I actually finished this up early in May is Zaytoon by Dave Eggers and I talked I did do a review on this and I will leave this link a link for that down below I finished this off when we did uh, Ripsat which is the read your books shelf and I will leave my link to my TBR pile for that down below as well um, but I, I gave this book five out of five stars it is about a man named Zaytoon who, who lives in New Orleans and has him and his family have rental properties so when Hurricane Katrina comes, um, his his family, his wife and his kids decide to go and be with family, and he decides to stay and look after 
the rental properties. So we all know what happens with Hurricane Katrina. This is a true story. He survives Hurricane Katrina, then the levee breaks and it floods. And he goes around basically on a canoe and helps animals and elderly people. And then one day, um, some soldiers come in and arrest him and three of his friends. And they don't really know why. And it basically, that's how the story, that's the plot of the book. So I don't want to give away any spoilers. It was an incredible, um, heroic story, really. And it talks, it has, um, it touches on injustice. It touches on natural disasters. It touches on America and the state of how we view people. And it touches on prejudice, um, it's, it's a very incredible book to me. I would definitely, I think it's a, one of the most moving books I've ever read. One of the most important books, I think, um, that's ever been written. It's, it's told from a, the perspective of the family, that, um, the Zetun family. And I just think that I've never read anything that is about such a big event that we all know about that touches me so close to home when something, like I'm nowhere near New Orleans and seeing New Orleans, I live in Ohio, but seeing when Hurricane Katrina happened on the news versus a first person's perspective of what happened, I definitely see, suggest picking it up. I will leave my link for the full review down below so you can check that out as well. The next two things that I read were for Ribsat, which is the Read Your bookshelf -athon, and that was High Five by Janet Ivanovich and Hot Six by Janet Ivanovich. These both go a part of the uh, One for the Money series. It's the Stephanie Plum series. Um, so what it is, this started, One for the Money started back in the late 90s. I want to say, actually it might be mid-90s, like 95. Um, so what it, <laughs> what it is is about a woman who uh, grew up in Jersey and she starts to have some not so good circumstances with money. But her cousin is um, a, a bondsman. So she goes to him and gets a job as a bounty hunter. And it is just, it's the silliest series, but it's really good. It's got mystery, it's got action, and it's hilarious along the way. I read the first four books back in 2013, I want to say. Um, and I've been t talking about how I want to pick up the series. I think the whole series has like 23 books in it. Um, but it's a fun series. I fly through these books very, very quickly. Um, they, I mean, they're just really good. I love them. I really do. So I picked up five and six. I love these books. I gave, um, high five, four out of five stars and hot six, four and a half out of five stars. I just think they're fun and light and they still have that edge of your seat kind of thing. I love them. So I would definitely suggest getting into this series. It's a lot of fun. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too long of a video. I read a lot this spring and I'm I'm excited for this summer. Let me know what your summer goal or summer reading goals are this summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.